Hi with everybody who watches this video. Now working title is this bizarre vaporwave slash Sega Dreamcast inspired time attack game where you're in a submarine practically drifting around trying to collect trash and I'm pretty excited to play this so let's get right into it. Oh it's a haunted PS1 game. Nice. I didn't know that. So does that mean this is gonna be scary? <laughs> I wasn't hoping for a scary game right now but we'll see. The Onder LLC Diver. Oh okay. <laughs> I guess we don't get to read it. <laughs> I wonder what that actually says. I agree. Oh, <laughs> I guess I agree. Oh shoot, this looks pretty cool. Item viewer? Oh shoot, this is kind of in depth. Oh, that is <laughs> really off-centered. <laughs> What's in the shop? Functional ballast tanks, 600. Improve maneuvering, climb with space, and right mouse button, useful. Ah, uh, so like little unlocks. Okay, cool. Yes, it's just welcome shore. Whoa, jumping right in, are we? Yes, we are. That's fine. It's good to have a hustler's mindset. Future CEO coming through. I'm Hand, Unter's adorable mascot. I could tell, very Aww. adorable. Especially how you blink and it looks very realistic. <laughs> you read the user's agreement, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and finish submarine training, maybe? That's fine. There's nothing to it really, but did you at least sign the agreement? Yeah, I did. Good, just checking. Anyway, welcome to Under. This is the starting area for new divers. Eventually, you'll be able to afford a driving pass for a more profitable zone. Passes are sold from the shop in the main menu. Upgrades for your sub are also purchased there. Be sure to check it out soon. You can also learn about all the fun types of loot you find from the item viewer menu. And don't worry if you run out of fuel. You can return to a location you've unlocked as many times as you want. Good luck. You can start now. Now. <laughs> okay. So we just collect the trash. Oh my god, the camera does not stick to the submarine at all. It is so wobbly. So right now we're just collecting water bottles. Is it Fiji? Kind of looks Fiji-esque. Water. Oh, there's our fuel meter. Oh shoot, we're running out. <laughs> Imagine getting this huge submarine just to collect trash. Oh shoot, super trash pile over here. There's a foot? Oh, it's a boo. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> an actual foot. That's probably where the horror aspect will come from. It's just like, you're collecting up body parts at the end of the game. <laughs> no, out of gas. Oh yeah, we clicked that camera back there. Yay, 124 bucks. We got bank. I like the Mario Kart font. That's very nice. Retry level. Oh, so we can get more. Gotta be even more efficient. I wonder if we should try to collect every bottle or if it's more efficient to just look out for the big stuff. Almost going sideways is the best. <laughs> it looks like there's only two big items here. Maybe there's more hidden somewhere. I made a thousand- What did I collect that I didn't collect last time? I've, I've collected less bottles. What did I do? Out of gas. Well, I guess here we'll see what I collected differently. Okay, got the boot. Got that last time. Got the camera last time. A watch? I did not see that watch. <laughs> Let's see if we can buy anything from the shop. Oh, this stuff's pretty cheap, actually. Improve manuring. Uh, yep. Now we're gonna click the bottles big time. I'm trying to figure, oh, so I can go down with that button now. Oh, and with space I can rise. Okay, that's kind of nice. Oh, what's back here? Oh, glasses! Oh, <laughs> shades parentheses cool. That's literally how I talk in Discord 90% of the time. Oh, there's the watch. It was so thin I didn't see it. Oh shoot, we're about to make crazy bank on this one. <laughs> Oh, there's probably something in this cove over here. Oh, shoot, there's another one. Lower moment. What else is there? Maybe there's something back. Oh, shoot, there is something behind here. Shades, cool. Oh, more shades, cool. Making bank. Let's get that other upgrade. Uh, we get a reef pass or sonar. I'll get sonar. Ooh, let's look at the item viewer. Oh, shoot. We can see all the stuff we've got. Let's look at the drip. We got a ring. We got some shades. Cool. We got a watch. Overpriced Tim's. <laughs> a VHSC camcorder. Oh shoot, that one's got a huge dialogue. And a water bottle. Oh, it is a Fiji water, but it's just called Fidge. <laughs> uh, let's read the descriptions. Unappraised ring. It's a ring. Better than custom jewelry, but maybe not much better. It's kind of big. These are very cool. You can tell by their appearance that they are a masterpiece of craftsmanship and worthy of a hefty price tag. Our clients are always willing to buy as many of these as we can find. It's a watch. The style is dated, but there's a market for this sort of thing among people living in elevated settlements that try to preserve the way things used to be. You're never going to be able to retire. Why, <laughs> why should your boots? They don't make them like this anymore, literally. <laughs> 
I'm not going to make you sit through the VHS one. It was way too long and most of it wasn't even related to the video game. So if you want to read it, uh, download the game in the description. That was literally just like the wiki's explanation of camcorders. For some reason, these vintage water bottles periodically become fashionable and can fetch a high price if sold at the right time. One of our clients has asked us to collect these so they can refill the bottles with whatever and sell them when they're cool again. Very fidge. I wish the, the surface of the water wasn't such a non-transparent PNG because trying to go down in the water is impossible. Oh shoot, there's something floating right there. Oh, <gasps> more cool shade? Oh, those shades were uncool? What the heck? I wonder how much shades uncool are worth. I don't think they're worth anything. I didn't see the money tick by when I got that extra pair of shades. How are these ones uncool? I gotta see this. Shades uncool. These suck. They were obvious that they're very cheap and it would be embarrassing to be seen wearing them. It literally doesn't even change the animation when you switch between the different shades. It just continues the animation. Maybe they're worth a little bit for recycling in extremely large quantities, or we could just throw them back. We aren't paid to save the environment. Well, that's a little bit showing of character. Let's get the reef pass. Heck yeah. Good job. You earned enough cash to move up a little in life. How does it feel? I bet it feels great. Hold on to that feeling. So welcome to the reef. Today, this reef lies in the intersection of several major trade routes and submerged pipelines. Years ago, it was ground zero of a tragic environmental disaster. At the time, there was a highway here that ran through a former World Heritage Site. I'm sure there are some things I'm forgetting, but it shouldn't matter. Pretty much anywhere you go, you can be sure that something terrible has happened happened there at some point in time. Oh my god, this place is not good. So don't worry. Anyway, it's almost completely safe to dive here now that the pollution has spread enough to lower the local concentration levels. Life has begun to return to the reef. Isn't nature fascinating? Yes, it is, Mr. Cat. What is that? Is that like an entire water cooler? Oh. I can't collect that. Oh, I also can't collect that. I also can't collect that? What? What is there to collect? Oh, I guess there's some Fiji bottle. Oh shoot, we just got fuel. Oh shoot, what's this? Why can't I collect anything? Oh shoot, I forgot about the sonar. I can't believe I forgot about the sonar. What's that little door? I swear, this is gonna be a dramatic twist and it's gonna get very scary. Yo, this church is rusty. No way, even the windows got rust on them. I don't know how that works, but like, that's crazy. Jeez, I feel like I barely collected anything and I already got so much money compared to my other runs. Shoot, what are those things? Giant didium? Didi? Die Tom, die Tom, die Tom. I do not know what that is. Also, what is this? I just realized I was swimming around in like a spinning monkey ring. Oh my god, there's a saw in the oil pipe. I <laughs> I didn't notice that last time. That is not safe. <laughs> oh shoot, what's that? Lost painting? Holy crap, that was worth a buck and a half. We got a lot of bank this time. Oh, we got 6k. Let's look at the shop. Is there anything new? <gasps> Lagoon pass? I'm gonna get that real quick. <laughs> ah! But it will happen. It glitched. And that was probably on purpose, but it's still glitched and it was scary. <laughs> Ooh, we got some new stuff to look at. I do not like this painting. It smug aura mocks me. Well, once it turns around, let's see this smug aura. Oh my god, that is not a smug aura. About a decade ago, a very important business executive accidentally dropped his personal laptop from the railing of his yacht. It's said to contain closely guarded enterprise secrets. We've been on contract ever since to recover Ugh. any laptops we can find, <laughs> always in search of the one. How did you get here? You're not supposed to be here yet, if ever. This place isn't safe for you. You're not experienced enough. Maybe you're not cut out for this kind of work after all. Are you always this clumsy? <sighs> Fine, so here's the deal. Just stay in the trenches. You may look for salvageable material in the trenches, but do not leave them. Don't even poke your head up. No matter what, don't leave the trenches. Try not to get hurt. Oh, is that a collectible? I want a diamond ring on That is so much money. What's up there? Why can't I poke my head up? Yo, I see the problem. That is a ginormous anglerfish. Shoo, this is low-key spooky. A skull? Out of gas. 
Oh my god, 28k. Oh my god, that level gives you bank. Let's look at these items. Gahil's tooth. Angels can lose as many as 100 teeth every day. Most can have five rows of teeth and as many as 3,000 teeth at once. If one falls out, another spins forward from their rows of backup teeth. In fact, an angel may grow and use over 20,000 teeth in its lifetime. Our client needs as many as he can get. Well, it sounds like they're not very hard to come by. <laughs> Homo Longi Skull. I like that name. <laughs> It's been accepted that Nathandrials were the closest relatives to humans until only recently. When the first Homo longi remains were discovered, it sent shockwaves through the scientific community as everyone raced to explain their place among other extinct human relatives. Now we understand that there wasn't anything particularly special about them and that we remain the greatest thing to ever exist. Jeez, what an ego. We still remain the greatest greatest thing to ever exist. Once again, into the abyss. I want to go wherever that is. You see how much stuff is over there? Oh! Oh my god, that was just two million dollars at once! What was that? Belphegor's gift. Each and every one of Belphegor's gift are one of a kind. This one was a surprising find, as it was thought to be lost forever. Each gift was given to a person in the form of an idea for a miraculous invention that could make them rich with little work. Many of humanity's greatest technological leaps were the result of one of these findings, the right hands at the right time. Many of humanity's greatest tragedies were the result of one finding the wrong hands at the wrong time. That's a scary prospect. <laughs> oh shoot, now I got the growth pass. Four million, dang. Come on, man. That's too easy. Hey, okay. Let's get that growth pass. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, that looks inviting. <laughs> Maybe you aren't so incompetent after all. It's time to tell you the truth about our agreement. I don't know if you really read it that closely. No one does. There exists an ancient place that guards an artifact so enchanting that absolutely any debt can be paid by trading the treasure found there. We would love some possession of such item. Greedy, greedy cat. I thought you were supposed to be like the nice little protagonist, but no. God. The problem is that the place is sealed by force that can't be broken. No one knows how to anymore. We're throwing cash at anyone who claims to understand the seal, but we're not getting anywhere. That's because it's not possible to access the grove unless you have great need for its fruit. Of course, we've been unable to enter given the impressive value of our corporate assets. We don't need what's beyond the seal, but we want it anyway. That's where you come in. We only lend submarines to people who are an extreme amount of debt, so the seal will let you in. Of the divers who have signed our agreement, you are the only few who have shown the initiative needed to find this place. None have returned with the artifact. We don't know why. Well, good luck! <laughs> What's that? Scale of a dragon? Holy crap. Five million dollars? What the hell? Oh. Oh my god, I see the people who weren't worthy, but uh, I am. Yippee! I'm actually worthy? Oh my god. I'm worthy. I'm worthy! Why did you let me touch you? I don't know, I guess I just wanted to see what would happen. It might have been an accident. This is what happened. I told you you're dead. I guess I screwed up, so what do I do, do now? I thought that was the thing that I was supposed to collect. You wait with me, with everyone else I killed, or someone else to come. Then what happens? I'll kill them too. Why? It's what I was put here to do. To kill people who find you? To guard the tree, to guard its fruit. Who are you guarding it from? Anyone, everyone, the seal discriminates, I do not. Does that make you good or evil? No. <laughs> Okay, what happens if someone else comes and sneaks past you or something? What if someone actually gets the fruit? I will die because I failed. What about me? You're already dead. Right, you said that. Do I come back to life? Where do I go after this? Why would I know that? I just assumed you'd know more than I do. I do. <laughs> this conversation is so nonchalant with like an all-seeing eye. <laughs> 
I hope someone else comes soon. You're not that much fun to talk to, which is somewhat surprising. Time has no meaning here, and I have only one purpose. Who put you here? The last being to obtain the fruit. A person? No. Is the tree from Earth? No. So this is a hiding place. Why would anyone want to hide the fruit? How harmful could it be? Separations have died. From what? Economic collapse or something? What? What about the other times? Some need the fruit for what it is. Some just want to prevent others from having it. And once it's discovered, it becomes kind of a big deal? Have you heard of the book about the money tree? It had a $20 bills for leaves. Its flowers were government bonds. Its flowers were government bonds. So are we getting brainwashed? diamonds for fruits. It bore diamonds for fruits. It attracted human beings who killed each other around the roots. It made very good fertilizer. And now we wait. Ending one, dead and assimilated. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll try to get ending two. This time I sneak around the back. <laughs> I just realized the little meter depth thing is question mark. Did I see a gl Oh, I see a glimpse of the fruit. That purple thing. Yo, the fruit. Oh, <gasps> I got the fruit. Oh my god. Holy crap. Yo, we did it. Epilogue. As you rammed your submarine into the fruit, the eye realized what had happened and let out a final roar of anger, pain, and defeat. Then it was gone. You had won. A section of the impossible. Craggy dome illuminated with no other exit in sight. You pushed forward into the light. You found yourself back on welcome shore. Upon exiting the submarine, you were greeted by the first human representative of Under that you've seen. They had armed guards, which they assured you were just formality. You shook hands and passed the fruit to them. They gave you a ride home. It's been a few weeks now. You've contacted to confirm that your debt accounts are being closed and paid in cash by Under. Your thoughts turn Under. They've made quite a business out of retrieving things from the sea and are wildly popular for their ecological work. Some say they're saving the planet. You wonder what their plans are for the fruit. Will they just hide it again? Was it worth it to them to clear your debts so that they could prevent others from finding the fruit? Or are other people running under looking to make a trade and the fruit is only a fair payment? There's no way for you to tell. Sometimes you have nightmares about the grove. You dream about being swallowed up by the eye, dissolved and swimming in its vitreous humor until there's no longer any boundary between yourself and the eye. You exchange Change words with the eye. You lose your own language as you learn the eyes instead. When you wake up, you can still vaguely recall some of the patterns and sounds from your dreams. You get the feeling of having been connected with something much bigger than you are. Bigger than your problems, or Under's problems, or the world's problems. You get the feeling that you know something no one else knows yet. You wonder what to do with this information. Ending two, debt free. That was sick.